The regional flood control district says our valley's detention bases and washes uh, work the way they're supposed to work. That's right. As monsoon season continues, we're taking a closer look at the system and what's ahead. A dry pitman wash near Eastern and Pebble after Mother Nature's furry caused havoc around the valley. Now crews are left to clear the debris left behind. The storm channels, the storm drains, and the detention basins did a great job of moving the water from the west side of town to the east side of town safely. Michelle French is with the Regional Flood Control District and says the goal of the system is to keep the water away from the people and the properties. The Regional Flood Control District has 222 flood threat recognition systems. To tell our hydrologists and our engineers on staff uh, how much water is actually raining in that particular location. To the west, the Tropicana Detention Basin near Russell and Decatur was cleared after a busy flow overnight. The Regional Flood Control District tweeting the water depth has risen to over 16 feet. Still, lots of capacity. Since the mid 1980s, about 680 miles of storm channels and over 100 detention basins have been built. Taxpayers have spent $2.16 billion and improved more than 60 miles of land removed from flood zones. Every time it rains, we're scared. Magnolia Magat owns this cafe near Eastern and Pebbles and says flooding is a constant headache for them. They hope flood control crews can complete the 47 pending projects around the valley to ease her worries. The roads right here, they're, they get flooded. Well, the flood district is asking for the public's help during monsoon season. They are asking residents to report any debris or clogged storm drains or channels. And we've set up a direct link on our website, 8newsnow.com.